as we uh, evolved away from Scrum, we we uh, dropped the uh, retro uh, the retrospective structure from Scrum, uh, and somewhere down the path uh, that had been lost. And uh, I think as well that uh, as we'd grown, uh, the retrospective just turned into. Uh, A developer team thing uh, uh, so outside of that nothing would happen uh, so what we did was is we uh, nominated a uh, retrospective leader whose responsibility was to keep it on track uh, and to try and uh, and try and uh, get things uh, from that uh, I remember a period of probably uh, three to four weeks where it was just uh, a moan fest and then it was just dropped. So uh, what we started to do is uh, somebody would be uh, appointed to take uh, minutes and uh, email those to the whole uh, team or, or, or the whole uh, firm as such. Uh, but, but we soon found that that, that was uh, a backlog again. and. Uh, even though things were were noted down, nothing was being done. Uh, so we changed the format of the the uh, retrospective. Uh, at first, uh, we 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 went from uh, we would go round and then uh, each member of the team would say uh, a good point, and then we'd spin around and then it'd be uh, a bad point and. That was uh, same again. It was all bad points. Yeah, and then we were forcing people to come up with stuff, yeah, and it wasn't really be, what the team wanted to talk about most of the time. And at times, people would say, "Same as him, same yeah. as him." So uh, we, we 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 then changed uh, to uh, uh, a whiteboard that is split into uh, what went well uh, and what went bad, uh, and we now then have three votes. Uh, and we mark each each uh, note, and then the top three things uh, are things that we talk about, and then the things that we can do to uh, improve those top three things now go straight onto cards and uh, straight onto our boards, uh, because we have found that uh, if we don't put things straight onto uh, a task board and it's a card, it will not get done. Yeah, we've become it just a bit conditioned, lost. I think. Yeah, we? yeah. So for us, it works. Yeah. Well, yeah, it does really work. So rather than emailing around all the minutes to everyone, we just write things down on the board. They go, and on you know that you can do them. And it just goes uh, straight into a stream. So yeah, so we're, got, we're getting a lot more um, value out of that now. I mean, we we pick the top three points from a retrospective that people want to. Um, talk about and then we know the whole team's behind it and then we know we can actually action three things there's no point in talking about ten things and then don't, um, you don't have time to action that in a week certainly not um, before the next time so that leads on to basically the outcomes of all these things what what have we we learnt I mean this conference is about this current state of agile so um, the reason I uh, sent in this talk was that I wanted to um, kind of prove or give an example that people are still using agile and they're using it to improve businesses in the UK um, and for us, um, I think that we've, we're certainly um, able to deliver better value to the customer. We can deliver um, software faster now and we can deliver it sooner. Um, and, and we deliver it more correctly as well. Um, so it's exactly what they asked for. And there we also deliver fewer defects, we've noticed. Um, we're not actually measured any of this. It's more of a, a qualitative um, look at how we're doing things. But from the, just the, the amount of support that we've got to do, we, we currently um, only do support in the mornings um, and then just cover the phones in the afternoon. So, um, whereas it used to be a big slog for two developers for the whole day. So it is really working for us. Um, and it, it's good to be able to bring this to the community and uh, give a good example. Um, we've also found that uh, we've got some slack time now. So whereas we're able to deliver uh, the same amount of stuff in a slight short amount of time, which means on a Friday, um, we're able to spend time innovating. So we're, um, we're now permitted to work on what we call Google Time or um, kind of open space stuff where we'll do um, little talk, little lightning talks or you can go and work on your little pet project 
um, or you can just do, like I've been working on something that I know the business has needed a rest service for quite a while. So I thought, right, I'm going to go and write that and prove by building it that this can be part of the core products and that's now going to be in the core stuff. Um, where some of the guys have been writing little, little apps that are um, completely unrelated to the business. But by investigating these new technologies and tho those guys honing their techniques and doing this deliberate practice, it means this extra time we've managed to, to garner through um, being uh, more lean and more agile um, is really paying, paying us back. Um, so hopefully the business will keep expanding um, in the same way. So um, our final outcomes, Neil, I think you, you were going to discuss these. Yeah, uh, well, I think uh, one of the key things is that, that we're not uh, afraid to go back. And I think we uh, reinforced that one by uh, splitting the team back because that was uh, when we first started off in like 2007, after about six months, that the uh, key thing that we tried to do was uh, merge two teams and then we've split the teams back out again. So, and uh, as I said, that was hard and, and it was scary because we all thought, well, it didn't work before, but uh, it does now, which uh, proved the point that, that if uh, something didn't work back then, that it might still work now because things change. Mm -hmm. uh, and we found that, that uh, from the uh, first paper that uh, they were great big sweeping uh, changes uh, and now we just keep going along and doing uh, smaller tweaks, smaller tweaks. So, uh, and we do still uh, do things wrong. Uh, we, uh, it's like about a month to months ago, we, we made a change to support where we're doing uh, a two week sprint, but there was still, uh, we were still struggling with uh, a changeover. Uh, so what we said we'd do is, is that on a, a two-week sprint for two people, we'll now have uh, a week of, we'll swap the support team so, so the two people switch in a, a week's time. So they... Yeah, it's the overlap in it yeah. that we added in, I think. Uh, then yeah. about a week, two weeks after, we, 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 we said we'd uh, try and change that to a week. And it's like, well, that was just... Yeah, it didn't, it didn't far work too all, soon, did uh, uh, and we should have just yeah. stepped back and said, "Wait a minute, uh, and let's just see how this pans out." Yeah, the good thing is with them, we know that these things are wrong now when they go wrong, and we yeah. can see them. So, um, but we're going down less wrong paths. Well, fewer wrong paths. paths but yeah. But whether uh, we'll continue that, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, well, yeah, that concludes our talk, really. So, um, we've got a few seconds for questions. Yeah, it, well, it was in a slack time. Now, we'd produced this slack time because of the way we were working. So one of the problems we had when we, we got rid of this slack time because we decided to go for sprints, uh, we'd lost that. So um, we noticed that things like um, uh, improving process and stuff, that they, they just weren't getting done. Um, so we reserved um, 90 minutes a week on a Thursday afternoon to, to tackle this sort of stuff. And we'd all get together and uh, we call it our technical dojo. Um, so we'd have um, an hour and a half for deliberate practice. So we'd do like a, um, a coding dojo in the sort of traditional sense um, where we'd do a bit of code cart or something. But then on the, on the Thursday, we'd do um, this technical stuff. So w when the slack time disappeared, we basically had to designate time for it. Um, and that was all right. But some of the smaller tasks that you could just do at the end of MMF or while you're on it, um, we noticed they weren't getting done. So we said, OK. Um, when, you, when you, you've got an MRF that you know is going to take two days, say, um, make sure you build into that any time you need to improve the process. And we started having uh, the pair or the couple of pairs that would work on a certain feature would have a, like a mini retro at the end and talk about what had slowed them down during that time so that when you worked on that project again, um, you'd raise a, a card for it to say, make sure that you write the deployment script for this because it took us a day to get it out last time or something like that. So um, we, we always had that time. It's just we had to keep moving it around. Sometimes forcing, forcing a gap for it, basically. Uh, we've uh, also moved the the Tuesday and uh, Thursday slots have now gone. Yeah, that's uh, what Fridays are for now. Yeah, so the whole of Friday. Yeah, because we found that that that, that uh, there's 
a flow now. There, there you're getting a whole block of uh, a Monday to Thursday. And many times, if uh, somebody's on, on a task on a Thursday, uh, they will still continue to work to that on a, a Friday. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I was on a thing that I thought, well, uh, I could get that done. So you just think, yeah. right, it's done. Well, if something's been slowing you down. Flow's there, you see, so you just want to get it done. So. Yeah. If something's been frustrating you all week, then yeah. you spend an hour on Friday, you can sort that out, and not only are you helping yourself the next time, you're helping the rest of the team and the business, which is great. From the books and the theory, and we, we, we learn all about that. But then we always evolve it through this inspect and adapt cycle that we have with our retrospectives. So um, you can't really label exactly what we do. We just use aspects from different things that will work for us. So um, we, we're, we're doing Kanban, um, and that's how you work in the two weeks. And then things will get deployed. So it's not the same way in Scrum where you'd wait to deploy at the end. And you get all your features to go out in, in that one bit. Um, you, you carry on pulling it through in Kanban, so usually get a feature out every couple of days at the moment. Um, and then at the end of the two week sprint, the only change really is that you swap around um, the people working in the, the streams, um, just so that you're not always working on one particular set of features or one project, so that you don't end up with knowledge silos, basically. Okay, but you could probably call it more of a, a, I don't know if you've heard the term, uh, scrum ban. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just the best things from, from uh, each that work for us. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the, the things, when we dropped scrum, one of the reasons we dropped it um, was because of the amount of meetings and things that took place. Um, it seemed to be slowing us down. But then when we completely lost everything from it, like you say, we lose a lot of value from um, the retrospectives and stuff by doing it our own way but we like to try things out and get it wrong um, but th the hard part is knowing when you're getting it wrong and when you know yeah. so you can just sit there and just carry on um, I mean our agile cultures help us actually be an ob external observer um, and saying hang on what you're doing here but I mean at the moment we've not had anyone externally for quite a while so we could be doing it completely wrong which is why we like to come here and just yeah. make sure that we're, we know what we're doing Ask us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go, but, yeah, maybe yeah. you're right. <laughs> but the, we, we've always got the opinion that um, we can still improve on what we're doing. So we're always open to new ideas and, and uh, people coming in to check, <laughs> check mean, us. I expect in uh, a year's time it, it'll be changed again. Hugely. Yeah. Yeah. Next Agile North, <laughs> we'll do episode three if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, poss possibly not. Thanks very much. It sounds as if you've done a thing which is quite cool. People don't like the meetings. So instead of forcing them to have the meetings, you scrap them and they find out why they wanted them in the first place. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That and yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah, and the other, everything we've changed, we've done because there's been a real need. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and the and team, everybody's everyone's, everyone's yeah. behind it, yeah. I mean, a lot of the time it might come from one person, an idea, but we never put it into practice until the whole team's behind it. We, you know, we try not to be autocratic with these things um, unless we really see a, a big problem. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay, cheers. cheers.